hello beautiful welcome to my channel and if you're already part of the round table welcome now let's break it down feminine confidence is a topic that is so dear to my heart and i can talk about it all day long because i see so many women beautiful women settling for crumbs and begging dusties when they should be using their femininity to attract the kind of man that would take care of them provide for them femininity is supposed to be every woman's power but it seems us black women are the only ones who don't know how to use it there are some black women who i know later became aware of their femininity but they were already in entanglement with the wrong man that situation and life will make it difficult to live especially when children are already involved some of us grew up in an, in an, in an economy and um, environment where we were told continuously that it's a woman jobs a woman's job to to support a man and to stand by him no matter what we dare not complain about him cheating on us how dare a black woman complain because even our own people expect us to take shit from men. Black men expect us to take shit from them as well. And the irony of it is this. The things they try with black women, they dare not try a fraction of it with a white woman. And as soon as you say, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold it, hold up, hold up. I can't accept this. I deserve better. You start getting hate cam comments from low value one of the high value black men telling you are you are acting all brand new and believe it or not you will get so much backlash from on of about how, how lucky you are to have a man in your life from people I'm, I'm talking about people around you and if he has some coins then you will be told off about how grateful you are after all, he pays the bills. So you are therefore supposed to eat his shit. Because, believe it or not, some men who pay the bills are also low-value men. And when you, as a woman, have no skill or formal education, and you also lack the proper mindset of working in your femininity and practicing a pergamous life lifestyle, you will settle for shitty men. Who thinks no matter how bad they treat you, you will always stay in the relationship. Some of us were born into families where we were never taught how to be feminine women, which left us to learn the pick me and pursue me men way, pursue me men way of life from the street. My experience from this is learning how to work in your feminine confidence is never too late because Resting in your feminine energy will not only attract high value providing men to you, it will also make you feel good from the inside. Listen, babes, can you remember the last time you were around a woman who has this feminine confidence about her and how soft and warm you thought she was? You can be that too if you start today. Femininity is not how you dress. Of course, it's part of it, but it's not mainly about how you dress or your body shape. Because I have seen plus size women who men are attracted to like bees to honey. And I'm talking high value men with good careers, business and good jobs. And I've seen women, slim women, who can get a man to ask them out on a single date. Because femininity is more of the mindset. Because you can be slim and be cheap. You can be slim and attract all the dusties in the block. Listen, if you're interested, I have a video on fat black women on femininity and a pergamous lifestyle. I'll link it somewhere on this video. Now, feeling sorry for yourself or jealous of other women who are feminine confident will not help you. It will only make you look like a bitter black woman. It's time to stop comparing yourself to others. Sometimes we think because we are prettier, we are better looking than the other women. We deserve what she has and most of the time wishes when, other, when the other woman has a high value providing man. And, but 
we fail to realize what we fail to realize is this the other woman might has might have worked on herself to be able to attract such a man instead of comparing and judging why not check yourself and see where you need improvement it could be that you are too loud or perhaps you cuss like a sailor i don't know but i do know but what i do know is this if you want to have that feminine confidence it's time to start changing and doing the grand work like for starters stop entertaining dusties oh my goodness you will tell women 1000 women there will always be one woman who will just entertain these dusties where they will lie to you they don't have a job they want to borrow money from you my god just stop entertaining dusties all in the name of anything is better than nothing just because you want to go out or your friends are going out or because you 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 I don't know seriously which is actually a toxic mentality femininity is a journey start today and start taking baby steps now when you start this journey you of course you are going to receive backlash from those that are close to you your friends your sisters your neighbors even your mama even from the dusties you used to entertain but who cares you know what you want because we black women when we start leveling up in our femininity by the way we talk the way we dress the way we walk even choose the men that we go out with like on a date people start criticizing us the people that are close not far the people that are close to us and they start saying things like who do you think you are do you think you're better than us listen babes it comes from a place of jealousy from my own experience because when you are what people dream or people want to be or you are walking towards something or towards a place where people will love to be they start giving you black backlash they start talking all kind of shit talk to you and trying to make you feel small and it is talk like this that has allowed so many black women to lower the standards and be like everyone else in the block because they want to fit in this is why you need to distance yourself from toxic people and friendly me babes society we always make black women feel like we deserve love that requires suffering first why should we suffer that is my question why should we when we can rest in our femininity and enjoy the care and love from a high value man and listen hun stop calling yourself a strong woman because that word it irritates me because that is the word that most women have used to put themselves and operate from the masculine energy change your words and change your life for the better and listen don't forget to give this video a thumbs up show your girl some love listen hon as a black woman we have been programmed to be strong in struggle in pain in abuse that is why i told you i hate that word i'm a strong black woman no i'm not i rather say i'm a feminine black woman you understand what i'm trying to say which makes us like i said rest in our masculine energy without knowing it because when you start going on around oh how strong you are before you know it you are resting in your frame you start doing these things you are not supposed to do you start acting like a man and what do you get you start attracting the wrong kind of men into your life i know some women who are the breadwinners they wear the two hats in the house but this is why you need to step back mentally even though you work two jobs three jobs you can still be feminine don't that shouldn't be an excuse because you work two jobs you can still be feminine all you have to do is step back mentally and practice self care regularly practice meditation practice self affirmation because the more you pro program your mind telling yourself i'm a beautiful soft feminine woman i attract wonderful men to the more you reset it the more those things will come to you and embrace your feminine side babes it is worth it
And if you build your feminine side, your feminine confidence, you will attract a high value providing man. And you won't need to work so hard. So no matter your size, because I am so tired of people saying you have to be slim to be a Pergamos, which is not true. Watch my video on that because also no matter your age, your background, you can have feminine confidence and live an unprogrammed lifestyle. So babes, I'm just going to end this video here and we're going to talk about this some more in another video. But please do me a favor. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also to subscribe. And I love you. And we're going to talk again on my next video. Until then, stay safe, stay beautiful, stay feminine, stay a programmers. Bye.